In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the annotations tools in Power Music Professional. Both chord sheets and sheet music can be annotated and the annotations are done when you are in full screen mode. So I've selected this piece of music here and I'm going to go into full screen. To bring up the annotation tools you have to click in the centre of the page that you want to annotate. Annotations are page based, not song based. So each page has a separate set of annotations. So if I want to annotate this page, I click in the center of this page. This page then becomes a focus for annotations. If I cancel out of that, if I click in the center of this page, I can now annotate this page. And likewise, on this page here, I can annotate that page. Let's just go back to the first page. I'll click in here and annotate it. When I click in the centre of the page, I get the annotation toolbar appearing. And there are a number of different tools from pencils and highlighters and text input, stickies. In the detailed video, which is also included on this website, there is information on how to use each of these tools. However, this is just an overview, so I want to show you quickly how you go about using an annotation. At the moment, the pencil is highlighted. If I move to the page I want to annotate, I can immediately just start drawing. Now, if this is a touch screen, I can use a stylus or finger, or if I'm using a mouse, I simply just draw with the pencil like that. I can highlight, so I can choose a rectangular area to highlight. So if I wanted to highlight a bar, I can just do this kind of thing. The color of the highlight can be changed, and we'll show you how to do that in the advanced one. Other things you can do are add text, so if I go on here and then double click, you can add a text box. Again, the size of text, the color of the text, and all of these properties can be changed. If we want to edit or move an annotation, we go to the select tool and we select the annotation we want to move, and then you're free to move it wherever you want. I select this one and I can move that to there. I can also resize it. This is where we go in and change the colors. So we have a color picker here that we can change the color. We have a series of lines, shapes, and these are what are called galleries of shapes that we can put into annotation. Now these are all done by uh, dropping them on. So for instance, here's a fingering, bowing, and foot pedal marks. We've also got things like rests we can add. Dynamics, very useful one, so if you want to add dynamics, you can just select one and drop it onto the music. And you can also even have custom images used in your annotations. I'm going to just drop on some uh, fingering marks just now. So I choose the finger mark I want, so I just want to finger mark 2. Now it appears down here, the size it will appear in the music, and you can alter that by simply clicking the plus or minus, and you can also change the colour of the annotation. So I'm going to change it to red to make it a bit clearer. And now I want to just drop that fingering on where it is to go. For this example I'm going to put the two above this note here. I can then add further annotations and notice it remembers the size and it remembers the colour. So I can do this and then I can just drop another. Same is true for the rest of the items in here. You simply select the one you want and drop it onto the screen. So if I chose that, make it a wee bit smaller, and I can just go in there and drop it in to add my annotation. These are rehearsal marks and performance marks. This allows you to put in things like bar numbers and also to put in rehearsal points as letters A, B, C, or actually as custom rehearsal marks. So if this was a piece of music I wanted to mark in the bar numbers, so let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is bar number 6 here, so I choose 6 as my bar number. Uh, I want the bar numbers in a different colour, obviously, from the fingering, so let's make them in green. And uh, size is OK, so I just drop my bar number on there, and that's bar number 6. Now I'll show you later how these bar numbers are then used in the quick navigation Close that down, close that down. Uh, a couple of other annotations as mentioned to you. This is a, a rubber. Now it's not truly rubbing anything out. All annotations are in an overlay, so they can be removed. But we can go in here and we can rub out 
by putting a white overlay over the top of anything. Let me just save that now and you'll notice the annotations are on that page there. So if I go to another page and come back, the annotations stay there. I mentioned that the annotations are an overlay. You can make the annotations permanent, which is useful if you want to then print out the music because annotations will only be printed out if they're burnt on. And burning on makes a permanent change to the music. So if we go in again to annotation toolbar, you'll notice there's a burn tool there. However, all of these annotations can be quickly removed. If I go to remove all, then you'll notice it reverts the music back to its original form. I save that, say yes, there are no annotations, and I'll save that. You'll remember I mentioned the quick navigation system, so let me just go ahead and show you how that works with the annotations. Let me annotate this centre page here, and let me put a rehearsal mark into this page. So I bring up rehearsal marks, and I want it to be a letter, and I want this to be rehearsal mark A. I choose this, I'll change the colour of it if I want, I can change the size, and this is rehearsal mark here, so I just put an A down there, and I'm going to save that. On this page here, I want to put rehearsal mark B, and rehearsal mark B is down here, so I select that, and I drop rehearsal mark B there. Again, save that. Now, if I was to bring out my quick navigation tool, you'll notice that the A and the B are marked on here. So if I'm on this page here and I bring out the navigation tool, I can jump straight to the page with the rehearsal point A on it. Now that stays the same no matter how many pages have been displayed in the screen. So if I was to change this to display it to two pages per screen and then go back to full screen again and bring out my quick navigation, you'll notice that B is now there. There's B and A is on that page. So you can add rehearsal points, bar numbers and things like that using annotation. So that's a quick overview of annotation. I say there's a detailed video on all of the features of annotation, how you use the more advanced features, but that should be enough to get you started in using the annotations in Power Music Professional.